glowy like this is See, very I don't glowy. Understand why people I don't say understand. this elf highlight don't understand is not don't that understand. dramatic or like isn't that glowy like we all know what that is. This is very glowy. I don't understand. Never mind. Don't untest. Hey guys, so in today's video I want to show you um some of my favorite products that I've been using like crazy, okay? I've been using it like crazy. So um I don't know why I just went really country there for a minute. Yeah, so I'm gonna call this kind of like my December favorites because I haven't done my favorites video in way, way, way too long. But um, I don't really know if you'd call them December favorites because some of the stuff I just got for Christmas. We'll just say my December favorites, okay? Screw it. Um, the foundation that I have been using lately is amazing and I love it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and I mix it with this e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. This is in 202 Creamy Natural and this is in Porcelain. Didn't even look at it. That is how much I... That's just how amazing I am, I mean, to be honest. I really like these two together. The e.l.f. concealer kind of adds in a little bit more coverage into the L'Oreal Pro Glow. And it also tones down the glow just a little bit because this is crazy glow, honey. Um, don't let e.l.f. fool you, though. If you're thinking about getting this product, don't expect it to be maximum coverage because it's not. I would say it's really, honestly, light to medium. It's not maximum coverage concealer. I don't even know why they called it that. Even when I first applied it, my mom was like, your foundation looks really good today. What did you use? And I was like, mm. This Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, um, I hate to join the bandwagon and be basic, but it's, it's honestly really, really good. <laughs> it has crazy coverage. The smell is kind of strange to me. I'm not a huge fan of the smell. It smells really like fragrance. Fragrance did. It smells very fur fragranted. I don't know. But, um, I really like it. I use it to carve out my brows, to highlight my face. I even do it in the center of my lips sometimes to get kind of a, a poutier lip and I love it. Um, this is the HD highlighting powder in the shade Starlight Glow. I don't know why everyone on YouTube is acting like this isn't an amazing product. See, I don't understand why people say that this e.l.f. highlight is not that dramatic or like isn't that glowy like this is very glowy. The two reviews that I saw both of them were like uh eh, it's okay I feel like really dramatic things it's probably not gonna be for you really because this highlight is pretty dramatic for me I'm gonna insert like a video of a snapchat video that I did and it's like it's using this product only so i just want to just want to clarify it's this product only and it's really awesome mm, makeup looks good but then oh look at a highlight oh highlights just on that side oh mm. so uh all those people who are doing reviews about this being mediocre and need to check themselves okay just saying no shade i have been loving this elf brow pomade too you guys i use this a long time ago and then when I did this elf order um I did this too because I remembered how much I loved it and I'm so happy so happy that I got this again because it's my absolute favorite brow product ever it's way creamier than like the brow pomades are um from like Anastasia or any of them um but it doesn't dry out and it still sets to like a like you're never coming off finish you know what I mean so I just love it and you guys all need to get it I'll go get it everybody go get it this eyeliner from artistry is their long wearing liquid eyeliner is amazing I slept in my makeup last night Oops. and I woke up and it looked like my wing was still like I just applied it and I rub the corners of my eyes a lot I don't know why it's like the corners of my eyes just always get itchy for me. And this, like, it gives no Fs. It doesn't care that I itch the corner of my eyes. It's still there. So I love it. And I can get a really precise wing, too, and um, cut some hose with it. This from Huda Beauty. It is the rose gold um, palette, and it has the textured eyeshadows on top. 
love these. I will say you do need kind of like um, a tackier base like a glitter glue or um, even eyelash glue before you do this if you want them to last a really long time. Without the glitter glue, it'll last you a good few hours, but then with the glitter glue, it'll last you the whole day. So it really just depends on how long you want to wear them. Um, I love them. I think that they have an awesome texture. They have an awesome finish. They're super metallic, super bold. If you like like a crazy eye, like you want people to be like, oh my gosh, your eyeshadow looks so good. These colors right here. Um, and then I love how many matte shades she has. The one color that I will say is kind of uh, a little janky is Man Eater. I love the shade. I love the pigmentation of it. Um, but it almost has this like gritty texture. It's really strange. I don't know if I just got like a bad batch of that one or what, but the man eater is kind of gritty in this one. I don't, I don't know why. Um, other than that, I love them all. I, even man eater, I, I still love man eater too because it has a really weird texture, but I still put it all over my lid. I mean, I went crazy with it the other day and I loved it. So. It's a very good palette, and I also quickly want to mention that Huda Beauty retweeted in my tweet about it. So I'm pretty much famous now. Just saying. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about were how freaking cute these shoes are that my cousin got me for Christmas. Does she know me or does she know me? They're adorable. They're like this gorgeous, like, blush color, which... Obviously, everybody loves this blush color right now, so I do too because I'm basic. Um, but it's got this awesome chunky heel and this kind of caged um, foot with an open toe. I feel like it's more springtime, but honestly, I live in the south right now, and for some reason, it's like barely even winter. So um, I got away with wearing these on like the day after Christmas. Or was it Christmas? It was Christmas. I got away with wearing these on Christmas, actually. Global warming? Um, but they're just so cute and I just had to mention them really quickly because they're such a freaking cute shoe. So, yes. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to try to keep posting videos frequently and I love you and I will see you in my next video. Leave me some comments down below on good lashes I should buy.